الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله in a very immense or fantastic and beautiful chapter Imam Anoui uh, entitled this chapter Bab Fadl Dua Bidahin al Ghaib. He said the chapter of the benefit of praying for those who are not present. Let's read this chapter and some of the benefit that the ulama mentioned and then I want us, I want to encourage myself and my brothers and sisters to make dua for one another. Listen to this beautiful chapter. قال الله تعالى وَالَّذِينَ جَاءُوا مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ يَقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا اغْفِرْ لَنَا وَلِيَخْوَانِنَا الَّذِينَ سَبَقُونَا بِالْإِيمَانِ he began with a statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where Allah says and those who came after them they say our Lord forgive us and our brothers who came before us in Iman in faith this is the mu'mineen praying and supplicating for the mu'mineen not tearing them down but supplicating to Allah. May Allah forgive us and all the Muslims. Ameen. Ya Rabbil Alameen. Guide Ahlul Bid'ah to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wa qala ta'ala Wa staghfir li dhimbik lil mu'mineen wal mu'minat And Allah the Almighty says and seek forgiveness for your, I seek forgiveness for my sins and for the believing men and believing women. وَقَالَ تَعَالَى إِخْبَارًا عَنْ إِبْرَهِيمَ عَلَيْهِ سَلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ رَبَّنَا اغْفِرْ لِي وَلِوَالِدَيْ وَلِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ يَوْمُ يَقُومُ الْحِسَابِ And Allah says, speaking about Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam, that he said, my Lord, forgive me and my parents and the believers on the day of reckoning. What we gain from these verses, first, the benefit of supplicating for the believers uh, who, who are not present. And this is one of the ways to have your supplication accepted, is that you supplicate for others in their absence. Another benefit of these verses is these that supplication for the general believers is a obligation, and it is a it's a it's an obligatory right for the Muslim over his brother Muslim. So we need, we have to supplicate for one another. Listen to this beautiful hadith. When an, when Abi Darda رضي الله تعالى عنه أنه سمع رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول ما من عبد مسلم يدعو لأخيه بظاهر الغيب إلا قال الملك ولك بمثله رواه مسلم. This hadith in Sahih Muslim, the hadith of Abi Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He said, he heard the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, there isn't a servant Muslim who supplicates for his brother in his absence except that an angel says, and for you, similar to what, similar to what you supplicated for him. And this is collected in Sahih Muslim. In another hadith, وَعَنْهُ meaning uh, Abi, Dar, uh, Abi Darda رضي الله تعالى عنه أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم كان يقول دعا 
دعوة المرء المسلم لأخيه بظاهر الغيب مستجابة عند رأسه ملك موكل كل ما دعا لأخيه بخير قال الملك الموكل الموكل به آمين ولك بمثله رواه مسلم This is also a hadith very similar in the meaning uh, same uh, hadith of uh, Abi Darda Abi Darda radiyallahu ta'ala an that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said uh, used to say supplication for uh, a supplication of a Muslim for his brother in his absence is accepted and by his head there is a an angel which uh, every time that he supplicates for his brother with goodness the angel says Amin and for you and likewise for you Ruahu Muslim in these hadith some of the benefits istihbab and yadu a muslim li nafsihi wa li akhihi bi khayri dunya wal akhira the first uh, benefit is that it is recommended that the muslim supplicates for himself and his brother for goodness in this life as well as the hereafter the second benefit a dua bi dhahir al ghayb min ad'iyati al mustajaba that supplication in the absence of uh, your brother or sisters in Islam is from the accepted supplications. The third thing, a dua bi dhahir al ghayb bain al muslimin dalil ala sidq, sidq al iman, wa dawam al muhabba bainahum, wa riaya haq al akhua. Beautiful. He said that the supplication in the in in the absence between the Muslims is evidence of their true iman, their consistency, their consistent love between them, and they're looking out for the right of brotherhood looking out for you know protecting the Islamic brotherhood I want us during this holy month of Ramadan whoever listens to this please spread this video for one reason to encourage us to supplicate for our brothers Allahumma inni a'udhu bika and usurika bika wa ana a'lamu astaghfiruk li min al-alam Pass this, put it on your Facebook, put it on your Twitter to supplicate for our brothers and sisters in Burma O oh Allah, please make things easy for them lift the oppression from them teach them their religion, Islam and protect them and bless them to embrace the sunnah and protect them from harm from the wickedness of the Buddhists and the Hindus who are persecuting them. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And turn their persecution upon their persecutors, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Likewise, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, please help our brothers and sisters in the famine in Somalia and in East Africa and Ethiopia and wherever it affects the believers. Also in the democratic Republic of Congo, also in the Central African Republic, help the Muslims there, protect them from the militias and the others who are harming them, Ya Rabbil Alameen, and increase the riz and protect them from famine, and restore the honor of the Muslims everywhere, Ya Rabbil Alameen. O oh Allah, bless the Muslims in the Western countries from being harmed by Islamophobia and being harmed by those people who wish to harm them. Ya Rabbil Alameen and increase their 
rizq and increase their khair and increase them to be on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to follow the sabila salaf as amin ya rabbil alameen and bless them to embrace the sunnah and spread the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in their, their places and around the world amin ya rabbil alameen and O Allah please help the Muslims who have wealth to wake up and spend their wealth in khair and not in sharm and to spread their wealth in building maraqis of sunnah places where the people can study the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and to spend their money in helping build industries to help lift the people out of poverty and help the Muslims in Nigeria and help the Muslims in Yemen and help the Muslims in Syria and help the Muslims in Iraq and Afghanistan and Pakistan in India and in wherever they're, they're suffering Ya Rabbil Alameen help Ahl Sunnah and lift them Lift, lift them up everywhere, Ya Rabbil Alameen, and protect them, preserve their lives and their properties and their wealth and protect them from the disease and famine that's afflicting them. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, please lift, remove the Houthi militias from Yemen from harming the Muslims, harming Ahl Sunnah, because now they have restricted even the Tarawih prayers in Sana'a. They have restricted the Tarawih prayers to where the Ahl Sunnah can't pray Tarawih anymore in the Masajid, nor can they supplicate, especially against them, for their oppression of Ahl Sunnah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite the hearts of the Muslims everywhere and protect us and preserve us and unite us on Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam according to the Minhaj of the Salaf Saleh. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Ameen. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.